when I prepared the topic, I realized that in the ITI we have maxillofacial surgeons who will be very accustomed to the uh, concept of palliative care, and then we might have dentists <clears throat> that uh, are not so much there using the word, but maybe not quite understand what it's all about. So I'm not going to go into detail uh, what is aging, but today we, we've seen we have young, old, 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 very old survivors, and I'm going to talk about this last two to three years who are still difficult, although we see that elderly patients be very fit until late in life. But of course, this phase can happen anywhere um, between 60 or 105, I don't know. And I'm going to talk about this last, this last episode in life. Usually I don't really like these uh, definitions of the WHO very much, but I find this one particularly well written. And what is palliative care? It's a, it's a treatment concept for people with incurable lethal diseases. And the goal of palliative care is not to cure, but to provide quality of life until death. And this very individually adapted to the patient's situation. So any relief of suffering, most, it's mostly pain, but there are many other conditions, <clears throat> is paramount. That's what we want to achieve. And in this definition of palliative care, we don't only look at the patient himself, but we look at his peers and his family, and we want to provide for them as well. So as I said, it's a very broad definition, and it comprises medical treatment, but also nursing interventions, spiritual care, and so on. <clears throat> 